Hello, my old school soul food family. Chef Jeffy back with another video. All right, y'all. I need to touch base with y'all on some stuff here. I do it on Monday because you know I'm right in the middle of Thanksgiving week. Weeks, quote unquote, possibly yes, weeks. Hope y'all enjoying the Thanksgiving videos. I got more to come this week, more to come next week. And we got a week out, half a week after that. So we got two and a half more weeks of this. So I got all that stuff done. But I want to share with y'all. Number uh, one, I'm going to give you a shout out. I've been getting in the last couple of months a lot of courts, letters, and things. I want to shout people out and show them I appreciate you. I know I always do that. Kind of acknowledge people that send me things to let them know I appreciate it. I'm going to try to go through this pretty quick. Then I'm going to get to my disaster here. Why y'all see me wearing this bandage probably for the next two months or so. Why I, I sliced an inch of my finger off. And I've done this before. It's, it's probably worse, sound worse to y'all than it is to me. I've done it two times before. So it's really no big deal. It's probably worse to I'll kind of explain to y'all. And I'll warn you, the video will be graphic at that time if you don't want to look at my finger being cut off. But that's in a minute here. But let me give a shout out. I've gotten local. Y'all know I love letters and I love gifts and stuff, especially. I love anything that I don't buy myself. I think when people send me stuff, gifts and letters and stuff, um, even monetary donations, even if it's a dollar, it goes into the fund, what I'm doing for this uh, city of Dallas, because it's things that's from people hard. Even if it's 50 cents people send me, I really, really appreciate that. So, uh, Mr. Doctor, this is a doctor here. Wow, from Jacksonville, Florida, Dr. Doni, he sent me this here. Let me open this back up. I think I know what this is. Yeah. Now I know I'm going through my, uh, I, I battle mental depression. And she sent me a, a, I think it's a she. If it's a she, let me know. Sharon, yeah. Um, from Jacksonville, Florida. She sent me this uh, coin to keep in my pocket. It say mental health, you can do it. On the other side, it say world health, hope, courage, and victory. And I'm definitely going to, Put this in my uh hope i don't lose it in my pocket so i really appreciate that i want to acknowledge her that i did get that a doctor i don't know if she's really a doctor uh or what you know a lot of people say they're doctors but they're not i got miss stacy dixon out of st peter's uh uh missouri sent me a nice letter here i'm going through these pretty quick and just to let y'all know i got that man miss lily jones i got all your letters that you sent me she loved penmanship. I love people that's penmanship. I got all your letters, Miss Lily, jo Lily Jones here. Um, I do have it. So I think she sent me a few of them here over the last few months. Yeah. What is this here? Oh, that's my receipt from my late thing. Lady Vivi, I got your card that you sent me back in September. I do have it. That's how long it's been since I did a shout out. Lady VV, y'all know Lady VV. She's famous for making uh she's famous for making uh turkey stocks. She's a turkey stock expert. So y'all know if y'all follow me enough, y'all know what I mean by that. I got uh Karen Stern. Um I appreciate that. And if there's monetary donations in here, I did get them too, y'all. I guess I need to open up. I keep the monetary donations in here until I give the shout out. Then I'll deposit them into my business account. Okay. Carolyn, Kat, Kat, I say Carolyn Stein, Katrina Stein out of Bartlett, Tennessee. She sent me two letters here, two cards. I got that. Do I have another one here? I got another one here from back from September. Was it September? This one's September. All these are September. Okay, Miss Mary Shepard out of Newsport News, Newsport News, uh, Virginia. I'm trying to see some of these have money. She got a monetary donation in here as well. And uh, I appreciate that. Uh, Rahila Aba, Little Rock, Arkansas. I just messed your name up, probably. Y'all know me country. I can't be naming all these different names. I appreciate that. Um, L. Lancaster out of Warren, Missouri. I got a letter from, I guess it's a her. L. I appreciate that letter. Uh, Tonya from Chicago. I love my Tonya from Chicago. Her and her daughter. I appreciate that. I got letters from her back in August. Lord, you see how long it's been since I did a shout out, y'all? So, Miss Tonya, I have, I got your card. I appreciate that. This is one from R. Scott in Virginia. 
I got a card from you also. Let me see if there's a monetary donation in here. I try to call you out if it is. But like I said, I keep that in there, y'all, until I give you a shout out to make sure I don't forget. Uh, Miss Kyle Piedmont, Mr. Kyle, I'm sorry. Piedmont out of New York. I can't pronounce that name. Scott, Scanchin Day, Scanchin Today. I know it's New York. Okay, there's another one from, uh, if you send me multiple letters, I do have them for letting you know. Uh, Pamela Johnson out of Little Rock, Arkansas. I got your card here. I appreciate that. Uh, here's one out of Irving, Texas. Don't say who it is from. It probably says it inside here. Let me see here. Let me see here. Hang on. Let's see here. Da, da, da. Hold on, y'all. Give me a second. I'm trying to go through these as fast as possible. Yeah, Nita Little. Nita, Nita Little. Out of one of my favorite cities. My next door city there next to Arlington is Urban, Texas. So I get, get your letter. And Pamela Johnson sent me another card from Little Rock, Arkansas. Okay. Now, I got something here from... Let's see what it says on this box here. From... Uh, da, 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 Simply Beautiful Candle Company. Sent me a nice candle here. And y'all, I got some... Uh, uh, from somebody sent me some peaches. I don't have it here. I don't know what I did. When I think I put them in the kitchen over there. But simply beautiful. They sent me some candles here. If I can get it open here, I don't want to tear it up. They sent me some nice candles here. This one's banana nut bread. Oh my god, y'all! Absolutely amazing banana nut bread candle. You know that's gonna be awesome for the holidays here. I got one Japanese cherry blossom. This one here is Santel and coconut. And this one here is, let's see here, sea salt and orc, orchard. Scented candles. I love scented candles. Then he sent me a, 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 a book here, Prayers and Promises Bible, The Smart Guide to the Bible, which this is amazing. This I like little, it's like cliff notes to the Bible. I love that. Okay. Lily Jones, she sent me uh, a few things here. This one here is a little cutting board. I got that, Lily Jones. I appreciate that. And it says, uh, she says she got it smaller than she thought it was going to be. It doesn't matter. I'm still going to use this and uh, hang it up. Probably hang it up. It has my name on there, Chef Jeffrey. I appreciate that, Miss Lily. And she sent me a lot of other stuff. I'm not going to go through everything, but... Uh, what you got right here? She got a salt and pepper grinder. Um, that's another card there. She sent me a cup, a couple of cups. Y'all know I love my cups here for Coke, hot chocolate and cocoa. And she sent me some, uh, which is pretty cool here. I'm not going to go through everything here. Some books here. Which I love writing books, uh, journals and stuff. She got one I can put recipes in. And she got another one here that I can, uh, like a journal. Let me see if I can find it. This is it here. Yeah, this is kind of like a like a, a journal, which I, I write a lot of stuff. I love these little books. Y'all can see my office sometimes when I do live that I have those uh, books hanging around there. I do a lot of note taking and stuff like that. So, Miss Lily Jones, I really appreciate that. I appreciate any time y'all send me something. I just think I'll tell you, just think the world about it. I have, to, like I tell people, I guess got the best social media family in the absolute world. Okay, a quick thing. Let me tell you about this. Like I say, y'all going to see this bandage on my finger uh, for the next probably three months. Of course, it's not going to, as this thing heal, I'm going to go to full down on it. But I got a big bandage on it right now. It was, uh, what about last week? Actually, I was doing a video for, I think it was, it had to be turkey stock. I think it was turkey stock. Or maybe it was Ghibli gravy. Anyway, I was chopping up herbs, rosemary and thyme. I'm going at it. Now, my knives are very, very sharp. So I'm chopping herbs like I do every time for been doing for years. Coming in there and chop and cut an inch. I'm going to show you a picture. If I don't forget to post a picture, I'll, I'll put it up there. An inch of my finger off. And I looked, and my finger's on the board. Now, it might sound bad, worse than it is. Of course, you cut your finger off, that's always bad. 
but it's good when that's why I say it's very important to use a sharp knife because the sharp knife cut my finger completely off the tip. And it's going to sound grotesque what I'm about to say. It's best to cut my finger off completely than to have it hanging because that way, when you go to the doctor, if you cut your finger above the line where your fingernails coming back, your finger will grow back, y'all. Don't, if you ever happens to you, you cut the tip off, don't trip out, don't panic. It will grow back. I've this is the third time I've done it. First time I've done it, I was just started working in 88 at the job where I retired from. I was cutting potatoes with a cleaver. Like just whacking. And I whacked this much of this finger right here off. See, the fingers grew back. I whacked that much off. And nothing the doctor can do. I wrapped it in a towel. We stopped the bleeding, put a bandage just like I did this one. And within a few hours, the bleeding is going to stop. Because there's so much blood going through your finger. That's the best thing to ever chop off. There's so much blood throw going through your finger. That's why it's, it's able to, to uh, grow back. So, yeah, that's why I had through the tip of the finger off what I did that day. At first, I kind of was a little slight panic. And I went, okay, just calm down. Because you need to calm down. Because when you, when you, of course, when you hyped up, what's happened? <laughs> your heart is pumping. What's happening there? Your blood is flowing. So you got to calm your body down, which I did. Then I went upstairs and got a towel and wrapped it. And I always keep, I always keep band-aids and wrap and all that stuff in my house here. And then Dallas also. So I cleaned it off, put me some Neosporin on there, put that bandage on and wrap that thing up, put my glove on and went right back to cooking, y'all. And I, you know, I, I change the bandage every day and I keep it dry. That's all the doctor's going to say. And when I'm cooking, uh, if I know I'm going to be somewhere with liquid or whatever, and I have the little, we call them finger condoms in the cooking industry. It's little plastic. Look like, and you put right here on your thumb, on your finger or whatever. You can buy them in the Walgreens or whatever. And it slips over the bandage to keep it dry. And I'll wear that sometime in the video. If not, I'll put a whole glove on as well so that's what happened yeah it happened last week cut the tip of my finger off. it was just a little 30 minute uh disruption in my life and like i say i just keep it dry and every day i change the bandage and of course in the next couple of weeks i'll cut that bandage down to where it'll just be the tip but when it first happened i try to put a big bandage on there to keep it dry it's third time it's happened in my career so it was no big deal first time it happened i tripped out second time it happened so yeah, I've cut, like I say, the worst one, I cut pretty much half of this thing off and lucky it was enough where it didn't cut. The whole tip was gone. Then I threw it in the trash and keep going. So yeah, it ain't no big deal. I know if it ever happens to you, that's why I say it's very important, y'all, to keep a sharp knife and not a dull knife. Because the worst thing you want to do is cut your thing and it's hanging there and you got to cut the rest off yourself or somebody got to cut the rest of it off. So you might well just cut it off and go to the doctor and try to sew it up. And they're going to do the same thing, tell you the same thing. If you don't cut it all way halfway off, a lot of them just going to cut the thing off and bandage it up, keep it dry, and it'll grow back. So anyway, I want to share that with y'all. I know that was grotesque, but a lot of people are asking what happened with my finger, what happened. I, I, you know, I'm transparent. I'll let you know it happens to the best of them. I'm a professional chef. I've been cooking for over 40-something years. And you still accidents happen. So it was your people, oh, chefs don't get cut. I had a fellow chef, let me before I close last year. It's been about two years. He cut the whole thing off. And I don't know if his grew back or what, but he really cut his off. And I work with a butcher at my job, and he got three fingers cut off. Working on the butcher in the band saw, I guess to cut the band saw, he had three of them cut off. So real chefs and stuff like that, we all cut our fingers and burn ourselves. You just hope it's nothing that's fatal and stuff like that when you have accidents. So I appreciate everything y'all send me. Like I say, I really, really love it. It's a joy to go to my box uh, and see things in there. Like I say, anytime I get gifts, y'all know me. I love the Cowboys. Anytime you send me something with Dallas Cowboys on it, or now Texas Rangers too. I'm trying to collect Texas Rangers. You know the Texas Rangers won the World Series. I bought them Rangers, and I've been celebrating for the whole past week. That's what I've been doing busy trying to uh, balance these two because I'm not used to the Rangers being. This is very weird October for me, y'all. I'm not used to the Rangers being in the World Series this deep in the playoffs. It was a different experience. I enjoyed every minute of it and trying to balance the old school soul food too and the slice of happiness, but I got it done. Shout out to my team that was uh, working hard trying to be there for me as I was doing life. So anytime y'all send me something, like I said, really appreciate it. 
Y'all know what I like. Y'all watch me on a daily basis. Y'all know what I love and enjoy. So anyway, let me close this video out. If you like this video, please share, please comment, please subscribe, please follow my other social media accounts, Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, Twitch TV, Pinterest, and OldSchoolSoulFood.com. Remember the hashtag 2023, just show some kindness to Old School Soul Food. Until next time, have a blessed Old School Soul Food day, and I will definitely see y'all in the next video. Love y'all.